Unleash the Beast. Out. <laughs> Are you right? Yeah. Put it down. Okay. Some, some rotary axes. There's two of them. Put them in there. Is some material. Accessories, polar tool kit. Two forty volt for Australia. Australia might. And that's it. That comes out. The honeycomb goes in. I think I might have watched a video or two about this already. Make sure it goes back in. Now I just gotta learn how to use it. <laughs> so the delivery guy brought this to the house on a two-wheel dolly. So I was really concerned about the, the liquid in there. And it seems to be okay. So it was up on its side which I wasn't very happy about, but the coolant seems to be fine. There's no leaks anywhere. So, all good, so far. Yay. So also the camera needs to be calibrated, so I pre-printed out calibration sheet and put it on a piece of wood. So hopefully that'll help me calibrate the camera. You gotta keep me calibrated. So if I open up the tool kit it comes with, it comes with, uh, sorry. USB dongle, probably with the base software, but this laser came with light burn, so I got a really good special on the end of financial year sale. These little calibration discs for if your lens goes out of whack, which God forbid that never happened to you. So let's hope I never have to use those. There's the key for the laser, safety key. Comes with an extra nozzle. But I bought the upgraded one, which I'll show you in another video. It's really awesome. Um, oh, the slide thing. Something to do with the leveling your nozzle. So the tracks have no lubricant at all on them. Nothing. Not, like nothing. So I bought some of that white oil stuff. It might be a little bit on here, but not much. You hear that? That's a bit disappointing. I talked before about the test print that they've done before shipping it out, but everyone else's laser cutter that I saw has one of these with an actual burn in the middle to show that they've tested that and they tape it, one of them up on top of this plate but mine doesn't have that. So I'm sure it was tested. There's the test print, which um, is not the best looking test print in the world, but we'll see how we go. So I put the laser up on the bench and I had to cut the bench down a bit, 
because it was way too high for me. And the duct work's going up through here. Up and in through the wall. And I stuck a piece of pipe in the other end outside under the eaves. Put a bit of mesh in there just to stop the critters from getting in. One thing to note about the bench, you want to make sure it's super level. Otherwise, the gap between here in the door and this side won't be the same. And then that glass could start scraping on the side of the, uh, the plate. So just remember that it's not super level. You can scrape on one side and you get, get in all sorts of trouble. So I had this old camera case and it fits the rotary attachments perfectly and the tool kit and anything else I want to put in there. Make sure that switch is all the way to the right. And then the main power switch is this key. Now I'm afraid to use it, but we'll see how we go. I did buy some upgrades and an upgraded nozzle, but we're gonna learn how to use the laser first comfortably, and then I'll install the upgrades. So with the newer update past 1.5, I believe, with the Polar, you're able to put a setting in there. So all you have to do is to put in the millimeter thickness of the material you're using, and then um, the nozzle will be focused from then on. So I just have to go into edits and device settings and just make sure the Z control, all that's, that the Z control axis is green. I believe that one should be off. Select your own tech polar and optimize, optimize Z moves. So just do that and go okay and you should be okay by just putting the thickness of your material in the bottom there, and you should be okay. And the first test print is done. I'm pretty happy with my first attempt and I think the Empire would be proud. And after changing the settings to crosshatch, it's so much better. Stay tuned for the next video when I install all of the upgrades. Exterminate!